dear student this is devang shah from lg institute of engineering and technology we have been learning the subject basic electrical engineering and we have started the new chapter which we define as electrical installation wiring and safety now this why this electrical installation is very important in our uh, daily life because uh, usually we are using all the home appliances uh, during the day like fridge like refrigerator tv microwave oven washing machine all are working on a high current capacity where if the current somehow some malfunctioning of the home appliances and if the current is not properly or the all these home appliances are let's say not properly grounded so it, there is a possibility to this high current would be passing through the human body and will uh, getting a shock now uh, so far it, if we start our first topic let's say it's a electrical shock where how you experience the electrical shock and what is the definition of this electric shock where definition says that the nervousness of human body due to sudden passage of electric current through the body is known as electric shock if the human body is experiencing the flow of current through it that defined as a electric shock right now how the this electric shock depends on the following parameters one of the parameter is called magnitude of current flowing through the body then the time of which the current flowing through the body then frequency of current flowing through the body and the physical condition of the body of the person so that depends on conditions uh, for this uh, uh, electric shock for a human body so if to remove this electric shock or we can avoid this electric shock by using a proper electrical earthing of this heavy equipments which can carry the high value of current right so let's define the different functions of this earthing is uh, described here to maintain a proper function of electrical system earthing is required to provide the protection to person against the electric shock to protect the large building against the lightning and to maintain a constant line voltage we required earthing so this earthing line is very very important even if you have a solar rooftop installation at your home see it also requires a proper earthing right so this is very important terminology to uh, define here the protection against the earthing now what are the necessity of this electrical earthing let's discuss one of the animation here where the let's say if machine is not properly earth to the ground what happen so you can see in this particular circuit where there is a electrical machine that can carry high value of current which is passing through it so here in this electrical machine in this circuit we are applying ac sinusoidal signal and this current will be passing through this electrical machine so we assume here the value of this current is very high right now in this condition this machine is not properly earth here so the overall circuit is even being earth properly and in this condition let's say you are just sitting beside this electrical machine and you by by this way if let's say some malfunctioning is there and some high value of current is also passing through the outer body of this electrical machine or any home appliances and by chance if you just touch the outer body of this electrical machine or any home appliances see you will experience a electric shock why why because this outer this current will is which is flowing in outer body of this electrical machine will also pass through it and you will experience a electric shock right and this earth by, by that way the circuit is also getting closed by this two earth so you can see here the circuit is also getting earth by this way right so here the large amount of current which is also passing through the human body and human body is offering a low value of uh, resistance than that of the electrical machine so most of the current will be passing through this human body and that will experience a electric shock right which is not advised to uh, to make it this electrical machine is is not uh, earthing but let's say if the machine is earth properly what happen just let us discuss uh, through this example where this is the same electrical machine and uh, 
this electrical machine you can see is properly grounded here, right? So once we apply the AC sinusoidal signal and current, the large uh, value of or high value of current which is passing through this electrical machine, by chance the small amount of current is also flowing in the outer body of this electrical machine. If it is properly ground and even if you, if any human by chance is touch this uh, home appliances or electrical machine, right? It will not experience the electrical shock. Why? Because this machine is properly earth where the, the all the outer body current will easily get passed through this uh, earth and make the closed path of the circuit here right so all uh, excessive value of current which is flowing in outer body of this home appliances or outer body of this electrical machine is easily get passed through this earth and will uh, deny so so even the human body is going to touch it will not experience any electric uh, shock uh, in this uh, uh, phenomena right so this must be very very important for any home appliances or any electrical machines which carry a high value of current at the end you have you must have to properly ground or you must have to provide a, a proper ground of this home appliances right that's why here uh, earthing is required now let us discuss about the uh, types of earthing so before that let us discuss in this condition is also or thing is required why because of the overloading condition so at your home see all the appliances are working uh, at the same time let's say you are using the iron uh, within the same switchboard you are also using uh, your the refrigerator is also operating fan is also operating or operating and others some devices are also operating in this condition if our thing is not properly provided then uh, heavy value of uh, or high value of current which is passing through all these devices in uh, it may get uh, damaged at the end so if the earthing is properly given to uh, home appliances then uh, that all the home appliances can be saved at a proper time right so this is one more condition where uh, earthing is also required now let us discuss about the types of the earthing so there are two types of earthing so here the earthing can be done by connecting the outer frame of all electrical appliances or machine to the earth through a low resistance conductor so ultimately earthing will provide a low value of resistance right say so if the, if it uh, provides the low value of resistance that that means the maximum amount of current would be passed through the earth and the human body can be saved right so uh, why we use the earthing just remember this we required earthing to provide a low value of resistance appliances to make it a ground right so there are uh, main two methods of earthing one earthing we define as a pipe earthing and another earthing we define as a plate earthing now let us discuss about the pipe earthing where you just see here uh, there is a one position is the ground position here where uh, uh, we can start the installation of this earthing or we can start the uh, uh, set up this earthing where uh, it's from, uh, uh, from ground level to uh, depth of 2 meter you require a proper uh, the framing of the earthing and after this 2 meter you require a uh, pipe earthing uh, with this particular construction so you require a uh, pipe of 38 mm galvanized iron pipe with uh, uh, provided with the holes of 12 meter diameter right so at the uh, bottom part of this uh, pipe is uh, installed with the the bottom part of this uh, pipe is uh, installed over a salt layer and uh, above that layer uh, we have to provide a charcoal layer now why this layering is required to provide a proper low value of resistance to this pipe so if the heavy current is flowing here so uh, at the end this uh, structure will provide the low value of resistance right so all the current is going to be decayed in a earth so we have a, uh, we, we we set up this requirement of alternate layer of charcoal and salt um, in this construction so this is a complete construction you can see here this is defined as a pipe or thing where above this now we have to install this pipe um, on a specific cover uh, below the ground line so this can be near to your home or any industry you can see there is a concrete structure is required that structure is made up of the cement and where a 15 centimeter uh, spacing with 19 um, mm gi pipe this is a galvanized iron pipe is required to 
facilitate this earthing properly right so above you can see the cast iron cover is required just you to open it and you can configure this uh, complete structure so be, uh, above that you have a small funnel and below this funnel you required a, a small mesh of the wiring and that wire is com uh, coming from the any home appliances so you can see here uh, for any home appliances let's say here and that particular uh, earthing wire is coming here and it's inserted into this uh, gi pipe like this way and this wire is coming below this funnel and that will create a mess here right and this pipe is connected here with the complete structure of this earthing where the high amount of current will be flowing here in this structure and ultimately this complete structure will provide a low value of resistance and the high value of current which is going to be decayed in a earth right so that's what the complete construction of the pipe uh, we use as a pipe earthing right so this is one of the type of the earthing named as a pipe earthing right same way you can see from ground level that wire having the depth of 60 centimeter right so from here the any home appliances wire is coming to the 60 centimeter and it will be inserted in this particular uh, pipe right now uh, the another type of earthing which is called a plate earthing now here pipe is replaced by a plate right so first we see the complete dimension from the below the ground is uh, change where uh, it is just having the depth of 3 meter uh, where you can now install this galvanized iron plate of 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter by 6.3 mm right now here the pipe is completely replaced by a plate where this is a proper specification of the plate right so we assume here this plate is having the 1 meter or uh, you, you can check the alternator layer of coke or salt layering is required like uh, we use this layer uh, in a pipe earthing of the salt and charcoal same way here the cork air or charcoal and salt layer is, uh, is uh, placed here the peripheral of this uh, plate and this plate is uh, that complete layer uh, uh, of having the dimension of 15 centimeter right so by that way you can provide a low value of resistance for a high current that to be earth right now uh, if you uh, see here the 19 centimeter uh, depth is required uh, from the uh, 3 meter uh, depth right so from above the you can see the complete this particular pipe is available and here uh, you, uh, you can see this pipe will carry the actual wire that is connected to the home appliances right so you can consider this pipe is connected here uh, of 12.7 mm galvanized iron pipe and above this, this structure you will find a cement framing or cement concrete frame is required and again uh, we, we define this uh, frame by a tunnel and uh, where you can see this uh, 19 mm of uh, galvanized iron pipe uh, that will be inserted so you can see the above there is a cast iron cover uh, that will be opened from the ground level and from that uh, you can see the 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter framing is required right now uh, here you can see here uh, there is a again a funnel where in below the funnel you have a mesh wiring or uh, you can also adjust like this way or uh, straight away you can find uh, uh, the electrical wire from coming from the home appliances inserted into this gi pipe and that is uh, shorted it here right so by this way uh, you can also provide a earthing and this earthing is named as a plate earthing because the lower part or the low resistance uh, of this uh, earthing is uh, provided by this particular arrangement of the uh, plate that's why it is named as a plate earthing right? by this way the earthing is possible either you can use as a, a pipe earthing or plate earthing right thank you dear students if you have any question you can write in a comment box thank you very much Thank you.